Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin and I run the place. Did you miss me? Welcome back to Hollow Knight. And we're here with 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 Cyrus yet again and we are we are getting ready to do all kinds of fun stuff with uh just basically doing some more Hollow Knight and running around and I was having too much fun and said, "Hey, could we keep doing it maybe?" <laughs> and he was like, "Fine." <laughs> so don't, here don't, we are. Don't. Don't make it sound like that. I'm totally willing to do this. <laughs> but yeah, no, he was he was pretty great about it. It's like, sure, we can do that. It's like, yes, yes. And so, yeah, now uh, now we're going again, and uh, I'm uh, I am getting ready to run around and do all manner of nonsense. One thing I am going to do actually before I do anything else is I'm going to show you. I I was I was originally planning to use this on your side of the stream today. Uh, is oh, my hello. my old OG. Hello. But, uh, yeah. But That's I forgot new. to actually hit send. <laughs> and if you want, you can shove me in the corner a little more because now I'm wider. But, uh... uh it should be fine, honestly. Yeah. Most of those <clears> action <throat> is in the center of the screen, so we're good, we're good. Yep, 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 yep. If so, need be, I will move you, though. Should be fine. Let me see. Ba -ba. As long as chat is okay with how wide you've become. <laughs> yes, I am become big. No, no more mid, no more midriff. <laughs> No yeah. more anything below the the shoulders. Yep, now I am just uh now I am just a bust. But yeah, that's <laughs> th this right here is is my original. Uh the, this is the one I actually drew myself. And so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the other one fan art then? Hmm? The other one is uh is uh, actually is yeah, it is fan art. I didn't think about that, but why, yes, it is. Why do, think, why do you sound so surprised? <laughs> because I commissioned a lot of stuff, and this one was not off the commission. And I realized, oh, yeah, this extra one is actually fan art. <laughs> yeah, and, let's uh, go. So, yeah. Um, but uh, the, the, the person who made it uh, made several things for me on pay and just said, I need, I want to draw you again. And then drew me. And it's like, <gasps> ah. And uh, if you, I don't know if you remember Sorath from the I Duck do. Duck game. Uh, yes. Kind of hard to forget. <laughs> yep. Yes. I'm a good bird. Yes, that one. <laughs> yep, 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 um, yep. Yeah, Sorath is the one who made it for me. And it's it's lovely. Oh, nice. Yep. And Sorath is, is one of the first few who tried to really imitate my art style with, uh, with everything being really dark and actually having the whiter lines uh, be the outlines for my stuff, like you see with my coat and my hair. Mm -hmm. Is that it's actually everything is black and my lines are white instead of uh, instead of the other way around like most people will put in a light gray and will use black lines and so it doesn't have the same pop mm, but uh, but the other one looked really great and I loved it and so interesting oh, that's really cool actually yep but yeah I this think I haven't received that much mm -hmm. actually wait. I think Ori is the only one that's given me fan art, huh? And she hasn't been doing that any anytime recently either. Hmm. So I haven't I haven't commissioned anything either because money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, money uh, is our, a thing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't think I've received fan art outside from somebody I know or Ori. Mm -hmm. Um, and she does it just she did it because it was like before I debuted and so she was like oh, who is this and now she knows me and she's like eh, we're good <laughs> we're bros now I guess <laughs> we're bros and bros don't give people stuff <laughs> don't get me wrong she did give me one or two other things after the one of you and Vanya is really cute that was commissioned though that mm -hmm. was not a uh, Vanya commissioned that that's not fan art if that was fan art I would probably like just die, die or something <laughs> yeah <laughs> you got it I probably would just like sit lie down and die and just be like yep I Got everything I needed, but that, that one was a commission. Actually, funny story, Chi, about that. Uh, so I received a fan art uh, along with a... Or not fan art. My uh, A friend of mine, uh, Vanya Velveteen, another streamer, well, VTuber that I've gotten to know. Mm -hmm. um, she commissioned some art of myself and her. And she... Talk, she told me about it beforehand. She was like, oh yeah, like we've been talking a lot. Like we've been playing games like in our own time and stuff. Um, and like we've been hanging out. She's like, I just want to like get, I, I want to commission something like just to like show my appreciation for you. And then also like some, something cool that we could have together. I was like, okay, cool. Literally the night that she commissioned it, we got it the next morning. Wow. It was that is insanely amazing. quick. 
Yeah, it was insanely quick. Like, I, I remember I woke up and I just like saw the tweet and I was like, eh, what's this? <laughs> Nani? What Nani? sorcery like, is what? this? How did, how did this come this fast? What? Mm hmm. Overnight shipping. <laughs> I don't think we're getting shipped. Amazon Vanya, Prime. Vanya has way more wives. <laughs> than, I'll ever, than I'll ever have in my entire life, all right, G? <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really, it was really sweet and it was really interesting, or it was really funny to see how quickly that got done. Yeah. Who did she commission? Um, I'll have to double check. I actually don't remember the name. She got it. She didn't do it through Twitter. She went through like a different website. Mm -hmm. Um, and... Scab? Was it Scab? I don't think it was. It was like a website where you can like commission like independent Japanese artists. Mm -hmm. But it's like very like lo quote unquote low key in that like all you do is commission the art and that's it. No no contacting the artist. Mm -hmm. No specifics. You tell them what you want and that's it. There we go. You blew yourself up there. Yeah, I used the Banshee Shriek, but he had already shot. I was hoping I could get in and out fast enough, but I did not. Yeah, those are real annoying enemies to deal with. They are really annoying. Oh, he... I can't... Hold on. You need to die. You are not worth it. <laughs> although I'm certain um, I could have used him to damage that guy. So, something that might help you, although uh -huh. I didn't tell you because I thought it, would, it was entertaining to see what you would do. Uh -huh. Fireballs ignore walls. Really? Yes. So you could have technically fireballed that uh, mushroom through the uh, through the wall, and it would have hit and killed it. Really? Okay. Yes. <clears throat> yes. But I was I was very uh, intrigued as to how you would proceed. So. <laughs> he was just enjoying the watching the pain train go along, huh? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Not many people know that though. Uh, that you can literally just fireball something, and it'll just keep going until the end of your screen. Actually, no, it'll keep on going. Period. Now that I think about it. So. Yeah, because sometimes they'll go past the end of the screen. Yep. Actually, it can go significantly past. Surprise, surprise. Oh, hello. But, uh, in case, like, you're ever, I don't know, like, your shade is stuck in a really weird spot, uh, you can just fireball, fireball. It through a wall. Fireball. Fireball. I, I personally like using Hadouken, but not many people mm -hmm. appreciate that as much as fireball. Yeah sad it is very sad did you play a lot of street fighter or no but it's just like fighting games just just uh it was just a, a big thing that is like hey i understand this and then and then other people don't do you remember when there was hadouken and mega man it's like oh that's cool oh i yeah i i i know know of that at least mm -hmm. Oof. oh another secret secrets Wow, it lived! It lived! Yeah, the fungal ogres are relatively tanky. That was amazing. Although, there was another creature there I didn't even recognize, and I I killed it without knowing it was there just by using it once. <laughs> Honestly, you don't need to know what they all do. Mm -hmm. Just know that they're out there to kill you. Oh, dang it, I hit the ground. And there was a slop. The little little infection yep. slob there. Oh look, there's a child child there. Oh yay. <laughs> okay, sir. <laughs> what? Alright, buddy. Listen up. Actually no, that's fine. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on, is there anything over here? Cause I keep finding like places you can slide. Yep. Uh, this okay. area is filled with hidden little crevices. None of them really lead to anything cool, though, unfortunately. Oh, that's sad. But at least not that I remember. But again, it's been a while. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's cool. Yes, free soul, kill the children. Free soul, kill the children. <laughs> Again, like I like when I went to the soul sanctum and realized there was a bunch of those failures and stuff floating around, I was like, <gasps> it's a nursery. 
It's a nursery. I'm so happy. Technically not a nursery, but you oh, can think I of it as such. Yes. I learned later <laughs> by by looking the stuff up and was like, oh, hello. You're just there chilling. You're just there. You don't have to worry yeah. about him. You can't really do anything with him. Oh, you can't? He just sits there? Oh, uh, actually, can you dream nail him? I actually don't remember if you can dream nail him. Yes. There you go. Pale worm, what good to foresee a demise unavoidable? Hmm. Yes, I know exactly what that means, but you don't. I don't know at <laughs> oh, all. I shall stay silent. <laughs> okay, well, I am just full of thought brain. <laughs> I shall exercise my right to remain silent. Okay. Oh. And I think this is Fog Canyon. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, no, this is a deep nest mask. The one that yep. you, that I remember I saw, and I was like, how the heck do I get that? Yep. And now you got it. And now I've gotten it. And... That's it? Th th that's I it? I can't even get back you. out there. Nope. <laughs> well, dang it. Okay. Like you can go back to the... Actually, if you go oh, directly oh, oh. right here, that's Mantis. What? That's Mantis Village. If you go directly right here, yeah. oh, that's Mantis Village. Yeah, the Mantises have just been fighting off all these things crawling out. You yeah. see, with their Mantis Spears. The Mantis I don't Lords know if you... Or... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if... Yeah, you, I could probably say it, yeah. Mantis Village, like, th this is this is why they are there. Like, why they made their location in that specific spot. It's because they don't... They're trying to protect the fungal wastes from the denizens of Deep Nest. That is really something. Hello, yep. buddy. Why are you attacking him? What do you mean? Uh, because he attacks me. No, he doesn't. Oh, look. They don't. Whoops. So once you <laughs> defeat them, they don't attack you anymore. Yeah, a, a lot of the thing with Mantis, or the Mantis village, or the Mantises in general, is that they respect the... They're like a very typical, like, respect the strong kind of village. Mm -hmm. And so as, when you beat their their lords, uh, they no longer um, attack you. Well, well. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you should probably check your map to see about the... Yep, you uh, went up Yep, it. I went to her... Her... Oh, that's yeah, right, that's right, that's right. I remember they locked right. me out, and I thought... Talk to the right here. Yep. Okay, they locked me out, and I thought that I needed to find a way to get to a new thing. There's a new area? Yeah. And uh, something interesting to note, that there are, like, little hammocks at the top there, or, like, little yeah. cradles. This is this is actually a nursery. Oh. <laughs> is it now? If you, Kind of, yeah. They keep their young here. Well, dang it. Okay. Fortunately, sure you cannot kill them. <laughs> So sad. Oh, <laughs> there's a treasure chest over there. Hi. And what is this? Mark of Pride. That's Mark of Pride. Okay. It costs three notches. Freely it does the same thing as the long nail. Okay. But mm -hmm. it is way better. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, try it out. Hi, I'm there's not going to kill you. There's a bench all the way to the right. That yeah, I saw that. Place. Yeah, I saw the bench. Yep, yep. Howling a seal, that's just money. Yep. Well, it's money and lore, actually. He will give you a lore tidbit. Whoa! And that's a lot of... That's 620 Geo. Wow. They just give you money. Yeah. And you missed this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I did miss this. I didn't think to go look. I didn't have any clue. All right, so long nail, and let's scrap the sprint mast. Well, the sprint master is fun for exploring. I'm doing fine right now, so let's put the sprint master back on. We're saving it as a snack for later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, for any event, it dies later. Wow, that is pretty long. Yep. So here's the question. Yes, here's they stack. Oh, and you can get very a very 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 long nail. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no. That's five charm notches just to make your nail long, <laughs> but it's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, it's so big! It is. It's so big. It is mine. <sighs> All right. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no. But it is really fun to mess I around with. Probably hit him from here. Oh, <laughs> just sitting on the ground. The nice thing is, is that you can poke through walls. You can. It is a very, very long nail. Okay, so the other thing is, 
I can go back to the Queen Station now. And, uh... And, uh... When I go back to the Queen Station, I can ride to the infected crossroads again. And then I can go get that womb one. Because I won't have to go all the way around. Yeah. The glowing womb. Yep. The, one of the sillier charms in this game. All right. Uh... Oh my goodness, the range is so good. <laughs> Proud warriors, honor bound. Okay, yeah. Uh, ow. Oh my goodness, the long nail is so long. Mm, I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything in the fungal core of of note? Um, like per uh, pertaining what exactly? Like, is there anything I should have done while I was there, basically? The fungal core? Yeah. Um, that's the place I just found by using my double yeah, jump. Yeah, not that I can think of. Wow. Yeah, not that I can think Hit of. Me through the floor. Like, pretty, when it comes to like the fungal wastes in general, I think you basically got most. Not most everything, but actually no, most everything. Yeah, now that I think about it, there's probably like maybe like a charm or two that you may have missed, but like well, that's like go. the smaller details. I, I can't think of like anything like. Major. Okay. Of course, like, me, I, there might be, like, a couple areas. Actually, are, are there? Yeah, most of the movement abilities. I think the only... Oh, yeah, there's only one thing I can think of that you're missing, but it has to do with, like, the the boiling water and stuff. Yes, I do so. want that very much. Because there is a fungal waste that I need to get past the uh, water. Yeah. So, but, like, once you do that, like, yeah, that's pretty much everything there. What you went through? Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, no. I know it took the uh, long way. No, 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 that's not it. I was just thinking like, okay, where exactly is that upgrade? Um, in uh -huh. order to like get through the water, I'm like, huh? You probably passed through it to be honest. Oh, I did. Seeing, seeing what, see, no, seeing what you like have already unlocked, I would not be surprised if you like were really close to it and like didn't hit it. Dang it! All right, hold on. Let me go park at a bench, and we'll look at the map, and you can tell me if I pass it. And if I have, you might need to tell me where to go look. <laughs> Dang it. Um, Is there something that I can get that no, can no, be no. like, hey, here's items? It's, it's near the Royal Waterways. I'll say that. It's, like, related to the Royal Waterways. Okay, so... Uh, it's, like, around there. I area, see it. Yeah. I see the down I need to go. I need to get to... Man... Uh, so I could take the palace grounds and then come up. No, no, no. King Station is the better yeah. choice. Yeah, I'll go through King Station as well. Yeah. King Station, I think, is the best choice to get through there. Uh, mm. hmm? Maybe not. Uh, that, that little, like, shaft is actually really annoying to traverse and trying to get through there. Yeah. Um, It might be better if you go through City Store or the City Store Room. Uh -huh. uh, which is up there way and up then here. go through the normal. Yeah, way up there and go through, like, the original entrance of the Royal water was okay. actually no. It's probably better if you go through King Station. Never mind. Yeah, just not down through the shaft. Okay. Unless you want to try. If you want to try, be my guest. We shall see. Uh, first, we're going to the infected place. We're going to the, get the womb, and then, uh, actually, I should also go to dirt. I mean, I have so many places I need to spend my money now. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it's all spent, then there's nothing to lose, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, you can grab you can grab your charm notch now too. Yeah, well the charm notch I need fourteen. Oh, I can. Yeah, remember you got a bunch of gold from well, or a bunch of geo from yeah from those gold. guys. Yeah, unfortunately you can't hit him from there. <laughs> Almost though, to be honest. I it's saw I saw the plan. Mm-hmm. Just my giant nail. Yes, it is a very large nail. So, funnily enough, um, Long Nail is actually not that great of a charm, because the increase it gives you is very slight. Yeah. Um, it's apparently, like, after, I was, like, a talking to some other people I know, and they're like, yeah, Long Nail apparently isn't that good in retrospect, but, I mean, I also used it 
during mm -hmm. my playthrough too. Yeah, it's not it's not amazing, but it is very you get very very well acquainted with how long your nail is, and yes. so it is very very easy to be stuck on it, to be dependent yes. on it. There you go. There we go. Yep. Now you can get another charm. Actually, I don't think this area opens up until you uh, infect the ground. Yeah, until you get infected crossroad, crossroads. So this is kind of like a pretty good timing for you to get this. Because after this, I can't think of I, I can only think of one thing uh, that you need to get uh, uh -huh. in the infected crossroads. And after that, you're good. OK. And uh, actually, I could probably just straight up tell you because I actually missed it during my playthrough. Um, if you remember the uh, forgotten champion, right? The forgotten champion. Uh, the, the big, the big armored mace yeah, thing. Yeah, the the husk. Uh, uh, you can actually refind its body, and there's a dream fight with him. Really? Okay, so there's a yes. dream fight now. You can do it basically um, as soon as you kill him the first time, and you get a dream now. Okay. Yeah. So you, just have, to, you just have to find his body first. Oh, those things blow up. That's just terrible. Uh, no, they don't. They just squirted at you, uh, before, uh, you killed them. Oh, I fell. You did. Ouch. Do not die. Ouch. Oh, really? You have, gained, you have gained the long nail. There's no way you lose. It's just aspids. That's all. Just aspids. Boop. There we go. Heal up. Now, is all this effort worth the charm? No. No. It is not. But we're going to get it anyways. <laughs> because the charm is, wor Ow. is worth getting. Trifles make perfection, and perfection is no trifle. Yeah. Getting all the charms in this game actually isn't too difficult. There's only, like, one charm, in or once you, like, play through everything. Uh-huh. There's only one charm, in my opinion, that is very very annoying to do um Hi. you can actually you can actually technically get started on it right now if you want but i will say it will probably take you like a whole stream just to do it wow like a whole like one hour session so if you ever want to like chill with somebody um mm -hmm. i can tell you how to start it okay what I, oh, um what, what should i do um, well, it depends what you want to do. Uh, yeah, it's because it, the location for this specific charm to start to, like, get is all the way back at Howling Cliffs. Okay. Um, I can ride to Dirtmouth and do that then. As soon as I go, uh, pay for, uh, pay for my notch. Ah, there we go. every notch and uh, you can go grab the Howling Cliffs thing. You... Huh. They look into the light. I'm wondering if the light is the infection actually then. Because they've mentioned the light a lot in this game. Especially the dead things. Mm -hmm. No comments. Okay. Oh, hi. Yeah, it's, it, that's like one of the things that if I elaborate on we get into a lot of others' territory. So, okay. no comment. Alright. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I need to fall down here, and I can't fall down here. Dang it. I forgot. Can't fall down here. Uh, forgotten far crossroads turning into infected crossroads is cool until it's really freaking annoying. Yeah, no, it, it is cool, though. But Yep. I will, the only thing I, the only thing I complaints outside of the, uh, the blocked off areas mm -hmm. is that now the game is just that much more orange. Yes. <laughs> As if we didn't have enough already. Yeah, right, when I was go. talking about like <laughs> that that was the thing where I was like, these orange things against the orange background, because that's that's the worst thing about those stupid little soul things, is that if they were orange against a blue background, that'd be one thing, they'd be manageable. But they're orange against an orange background. Which means I have to pay really close attention to them. And also really close attention to the guy's very minor cues. Yep. All right. Just like a quick heads up. My uh -huh. uh, housemates are starting to go to sleep, so I got to start whispering now. So okay. Quality of voice will either drop or increase depending on what your preference is. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm certain there are some of my folks that will absolutely love ASMR, Cyrus. Har har. Har har. Mm -hmm.
I think it'll be great. I don't think anyone's really talked about it in my chat yet. It just happened, so. <laughs> mm, I see. There you go. Yep. And uh, I guess if you want, you can mess around with a uh, glowing womb and see what it does. But it okay. is uh, very silly. Once you own 40 charms, I'll gladly sell it to you. You only need 14 more. Basically, you need to get every charm in the game. Every charm in the game, and then yep. you can buy that. So there's 41 yep. charms. Technically, there's more, but like some charms upgrade, some charms are replaced. Okay. Uh, All right, well, you want to see what it does? Just wait a couple of seconds. And there's your child. And they will just go and kill the themselves. Yes. And uh, it will constantly be a drain on your soul. Huh. Is there any benefit to them? Uh, other than like, you know, them slamming themselves into... Yep, there you go. Oh, they kill themselves on explosives? Yes. No, they kill themselves and, and deal damage. See? Okay. It's not like a ton of damage, and the big problem with using it is they'll just constantly be draining your soul. Mm. So, it's kind of like, is it worth like this? Versus, you know, healing and spell casting. Yeah. So, that's why uh, not many people uh, use it. There is a there is a really funny build that you can do with them, but you don't have the right charms for it yet, so I won't I'll refrain. Uh -huh. But I will say once you start finding those charms involved in it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. And all I'll say on that front is it's called the Summoner build. Really? <laughs> yes. I think uh actually I think I have a clip on my channel on my Twitch channel about me uh finding it and using it. Although, to be fair, the, the, the clip itself isn't about that, but it's about something else, but details. Okay. Okay, so there are a number of things that you can do from this position. You can either, or I guess, like, as like a side quest, you can go to Howling Cliffs and see if you can find the little thing that I just talked about earlier. Oh, that's or right, can, that's right. You told me about that. You can start seeking out the uh, the little masks on your on your map. Yep. Uh, yeah, you mentioned Howling Cliffs, and actually my own chat mentioned Howling Cliffs, and so I should go check that out. There was also... what else was there? Um, okay, they just blow up whenever they hit something. Yep. And they get they good money. Moving. They just keep moving in a straight line. You know what? I'm going to assume that I'm going to do pretty good with, uh, with not dying. And I have a full shop of stuff I need to buy from. So, I'm going to do Fragile Greed and uh, and just start stockpiling money because I have like thousands of dollars I need to spend because I found the key for the shop master and then I forgot to go back to his shop. And so, he's probably got thousands of money that I need to spend on him. Yeah, uh, I th if you just recently uh, got that, then I think the biggest thing that you probably want is a mask shard. Yep. I got the mass shard and I haven't got anything else. Oh, okay. Right, uh, then. You already got that then. Yep. Yep. I do want to go to Dirtmouth though, because I want to check that out. Um, who? I mean, you can either take the stag or just run all the way back. Yeah. I think... Oh, if I was going to take the stag, I should have gone up over there. Yep. I'm I mean, you have, to go, you have to go up there anyways. Yep. I have because to go up there either way. Here. You are right, I went the wrong direction. Nah, it's fine. It does take a while before you're used to the fact that that little area, yeah, you can't go through there. Yeah, you just get really in a groove. Pretty much. Like and That means honestly, I have to fly through this freaking point, area. Once you reach a certain point, you, like, you don't even need your compass. You just know where you are. And then after a certain point after that, yep. you realize you don't even need your map. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, I've not reached the point where I don't need my map at all, but mm -hmm. I could probably make my way through the game uh, now without using compass. Hmm. Wait a minute. Did I already go over there? I think I did. Yeah, there was just a money here. That was all. I was trying to remember if there's anything there. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that was stronger than I thought. Yeah, you should use spells more. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was weaker before. Does the spell go up based on your sword? No. Okay. So all the spells do base damage, period. But the base Vengeful Spirit, I think, does about... It explodes, yeah. Uh, yeah. Does about 20 damage, base mm -hmm. Vengeful Spirit. And your nail at this point probably does maybe around like 13, like 11 to 15, give mm. or take. So, Vengeful Spirit does still out damage your nail. Not by much, but once you upgrade your fireball, then it'll yeah. do even more. Yep. Well, I remember when I first got Vengeful Spirit and it was really powerful. I was like, whoa. It still is pretty good. Just not. It could be better, and uh, it is slowly getting like power crept pretty yeah. much. But yeah. once you upgrade that, then yeah, it'll be it'll be as if you got vengeful spirit all over again. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You just play the game however you want. Oop. Yep. And I forgot about that one. I wasn't paying attention. All good. And he blew up on my <laughs> face. Um, hmm. Thought I saw light coming down, so I wanted to check. Hi. Careful. He just keeps running, by the way. He doesn't stop until he hits something. Yeah, but I'm waiting for him to explode. Oh, there it is. And then... Thank nice. you. <laughs> I hope the 21 Geo was worth your time. <laughs> Yeah, gotcha. uh, something that I also learned that Vengefly King doesn't, or the infected Vengefly does, in fact, fly faster than you can hit it with. Yep. Without quick slash. Yep. It was not great. Oh, oh. Whew. The nice thing is, yeah. is that the hop of hitting him down gives me enough distance that uh, that uh, I'm able to live. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go up here. Cut. Oh, be able to oh the mm -hmm. Gruisers are stronger. They don't chase you, by the way. They, they just, just kind of move. Yeah, they just bounce now. Same uh, as they, they always did. Or, yeah, I, no, the Gruisers, much. I think, chased you before. But maybe they did not. Maybe, oh my oh, goodness, I just ripping infection. I remember. I remember them more as infected than not infected. Yeah, I remember the thing that you talked about before. They just wander around. Uh, it, it, it's almost as if they are looking for a way to die. Was this? Was his? Uh, was his two cents on it? <laughs> I mean, honestly, probably not that far off. Yep. Now they're just really powerful. It's how much infection? That, with how much COVID they've contracted? Oh my, oh gosh. my goodness. <laughs> Like you can physically see the, the COVID. Yep, just dripping out of their eyes. Just like Ebola. <laughs> a little there further off, but yeah. Or time timeline-wise, a little further away. Yep. Ow. Boop. Okay. Now. Wow, they took a lot of hits. They are tanky. Plus, uh, you only have a plus two nail right now, anyways. Mm hmm. I so. need to figure out what the other places to find the pale ore. Uh. I got one from the lady for dream nailing. I'm trying to think. Is that the only one you've gotten? Uh. I mean, you can check I right think now so, how yeah. pale ore you have. Or, or to the right there. Oh, huh. I guess that is all you have. Okay, yeah, there's quite a few locations um, that you're missing. Okay. Um, so I think one, funnily enough, uh, one pillar you're missing is in Crystal Peaks. Really? Yes. Um, so unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, if you like that place, you do have to go back. Yeah, I didn't hate uh, Crystal Peaks. I just hated not knowing where I was. And once I found out where I was, I was fine. Yeah, so one pillar... Mm -hmm. Uh, one pillar is in Crystal Peaks. One, you get from Grubfather, actually. Right. Yeah, to save enough of his children, and then he gives you a pillar. Okay. Uh, hmm. one pillar you get from. 
What was it? Oh yeah. Um you have a simp by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I wanted to see if anything had changed, but it seems like the same. <laughs> Hi. And I probably should go and put on the stink so I can talk That's to these folks. Deal. Uh yeah, I got a mash shard and there's another mash shard to get. Um one more and you got a full mask. Yep. Um so I guess I should go to the color? cliffs. Or oh, actually Oh yeah, one of the pale ore you get from um from location you have not touched yet, but Okay. Um It's called it's basically just the Coliseum. It's called the Coliseum of Fools. If okay. you find it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh you basically just have to go, run through the gauntlet, you'll get one. Hmm. <laughs> he yeah, apologizes for the bugs. smell. It's Elder Bug's fault. Over here. You seem a little different. Something has changed in your bearing. Ah, the way you hold your nails, so you've learned a nail art. Very interesting, I wonder. Do you have the passion to continue your training? Is something up sly. with this guy. Good old Sly. <sighs> Bapanada. Oh. Trampin. I'll get more than a hundred in my travels. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so I won't say exactly where you have to go. Okay. There's a breakable wall somewhere in, Hall in Halloween Cliffs, and I'll give you like like 10 minutes of searching if you can to like try and find it yourself otherwise i'll just like point you in the right direction if you ask for it or if you feel lost and you can't find it okay um but there's a breakable wall somewhere in halloween cliffs that you have to find you find it uh, and there will be a very interesting precision or very interesting couple of things that you'll find there um, okay. and i'll see if you can kind of figure out what you have to do from there all right Mm, oh, uh, I will say that though that what um what you're looking for uh, is tied to DLC content. Okay. Uh, will it matter at all then if I uh, or not even I mean, matter? If you, if you want all the charms of the game, yes, it matters. Because you do have to kind of touch up. If actually, here's uh, let me rephrase this. If you want to 112 percent the game, yes, you do need to touch it. Okay. Or you do need to like deal, go through with it. I'm just mentioning that it's like DLC um, mm -hmm. and you'll kind of see how why it's DLC or you'll like because it's kind of like in a very interesting location. <laughs> mm. You should be able to find it, though. I was stupid, so I couldn't find it. Mm. Oh, no, it's still oh, I just jumped off. Yeah, you just jumped off. Yeah, I just realized where I am. Yeah, you have to go all the way down to like the little areas with a bunch of platforms and it's in that area. Okay. But uh, yeah, that is one of the things you can be doing here. The other, so you probably shouldn't do that today. Mm -hmm. uh, or you probably shouldn't start going for it today. Mm -hmm. Um, You can like talk to the people involved though and like see what's going on. But it's going to take you a little bit, maybe like, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour to like, com to fully receive the charm. Uh huh. Uh, other things you can do, uh, dreamers, which are like the mask things on your map that you can seek out. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Oh, yeah, there's the uh, upgrade that lets you touch the water. That's somewhere around Royal Waterways. So if that gives you kind of like a better idea of where to find that. Hello. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials to overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great nail sage himself. Hereby accept you as my pupil. <gasps> <Woo. laughs> Let us bless nice. lesson begin immediately. Alright, learn the master's nail art. I think this is Cyclone Slash. Okay. Yep. Yep. This is the hardest slash to use. 
but it is also the most damaging slash in the game. Oh. It deals an insane amount of damage if you can get it correctly, but it is also really difficult to kind of find the timing to use. So. So mm. I hate personally I've never used it, if that says anything, but I don't think it does because I'm very average at this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but if you can figure out how to use it, uh, you'll be doing the deeps. Bam. <laughs> There it is. You can hold down the button to spin longer. Oh. Or is it hold down or you have to keep pushing it? I I kept tapping it. Okay, you have to keep tapping it then. There you go. Huh. Okay. Hard to use, great to great to hit. Yeah, if you ever decide to like you do nail arts and stuff then yeah that's the way to go okay well, i mean all the other nail arts are good but that's like the one that you use the least just because uh it's really hard to like get all the hits of cyclone slash in yeah and i'm guessing if you don't get all the hits in it's not actually as good yeah it's like okay not bad not like maybe not even worth it because you do have to charge it Hmm. Okay. So the location should be near this area. So. What am I looking for? Have at it. Uh, it's a breakable wall. Okay. Yeah, there's a breakable wall somewhere in this area. Um, and I already got this one. They gave me this house. Where I just got my new nail art. Yeah. I will say I did not f know that this existed during my first playthrough either. <laughs> Uh, someone in my chat had to physically tell me, oh yeah, you're missing this huge thing here. And I was like, oh shoot. Mmm. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I actually wish I had... My Compass. Thing. Hmm? Wayward compass. Yep. Okay, it should be in this screen, I think. Should be somewhere here. Mm. Let's see. By this screen, you mean like w when you exit your blackout, or oh, did yeah. you mean like on the screen? Yeah, yeah, like this screen, like as in like blackout. Yeah. It should be on, on this screen. So you don't have to like leave this area or anything. It should be here. Or okay. no, not it should be. It is here. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I worded it like that. I know. I know it's here. Cornifer. The question is, can you find it? I don't Too know. Far. Whoops. Far. This was a mistake. That's, that's a different screen. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So this wasn't it. Nope. All right. It's on this area somewhere. You just have to find it. Good luck. <laughs> hmm. I mean, when you hit a when you hit an area and it's breakable, there, it, there is. it is. You found it. Yay! Higher beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There is no world beyond. Those foolish enough to traverse the void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Wanderer's journal. Oh, well, what, what, stop. Wait, actually, I'll no, break that first. Go to the right. Oh, I didn't see that. See that easier with your stink cloud. <laughs> you see green growing in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. And then you go all the way to the right here. Okay. Oh, hello. The corpse of a large bug. There you go. Uh, hello? Not you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've got to go pick up all the red glowies around. Oh, wait. You're close. 
There you go. Hello! And you have just summoned the Grim Troop. I saw that there was a... Okay. I saw that there was DLC for them. Yep. This is a DLC for the Grim Troop. So, basically, you summon them to Dirtmouth. So you have to go back to Dirtmouth and you will see something... Okay. ...that was not there previously. <laughs> and I highly doubt that you will miss it. All right. But, uh, yeah, once you, uh, have summoned them, uh, you yeah, have started the event of the Grim Troop, and part of it, uh, lies with a charm. Okay. That they will give you. And, uh, it's also, like, big content here, um, and it also unlocks one of the most beloved and hated bosses in all of Hollow Knight. Really? Yes. Um, and I would like to say, I would like to recommend that, uh, before you get stuck on the dream version of this boss, uh huh. Uh, you should probably actually get full upgrades before trying. Oh yeah, yeah. And by that I mean level like fully upgraded nail, nine masks of health, mm -hmm. and third vessel. Uh, fully upgraded nail, huh? Yep. And he is one of the hardest bosses in this entire game. Or technically, uh, in the th top three, I would say. I think most people would say top three. There we go. If you want to try your luck, though, and uh, you manage to like catch him before that, then, then mm -hmm. you know, good luck to you, my friend. So the Grim Troop is in uh, Dirt Mouth now, right? Yes. You have summoned them. You have called them. They have responded to your call, and they are currently in Dirt Mouth. All right. Be quite a significant change here. All right. <gasps> it's this thing as well. The one that thought I might look case to eat. The road's between dark and long, but the master's light will always guide us. Master. Look, it's divine. Hmm. Ah. Did you call us? You call us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Okay. Oh, that sound that the flukes make. They're the worst. <laughs> We're not going to ask why the grub is making the so that sound. It just does. Yeah. Speaking to master. And we're not gonna we're gonna ignore the grub's plight. That is its life now. Mm-hmm. This is not a boss, by the way. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> not yet. But you Hello. See oh I have seen this on a thousand thumbnails. One of the coolest characters in this entire game okay or at least a lot of people think so i i, I think so too all right all Not right like so let's talk to him i guess then so was you who called us troop master grim well met friend well met i am grim master of this troop the lantern has been lit and your summons heeded a fine stage you chose this kingdom followed by worm and root Perfect earth upon which our rituals take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast, our compact ridden in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first some illumination is required. Grimchild. Across these lands my kin now spread, harvesting their essence, peculiar to my breed, the flame and dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame and return it to me. Together marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one. 
For this task, you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you in the flame and gather within itself a burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame... Or sorry, only with it by your side will the flame, my kin, reveal themselves to you. Okay. Uh, yeah, so basically, uh, now there are new events all, are all around Hollow Nest, the map, or what's below. Okay. Uh, and uh, you basically have to equip Grimchild to interact with them. Okay. Uh, you have to do this multiple times, and it is very annoying and takes a while to do. Okay. So um, you could either, like, equip it and kind of do things, like, as you approach them, or, like, try and, like, seek them out personally. Okay. But it's probably best that you don't do it now, because it'll take you a while to do. All right. Uh, it fills me with dread. I think it's best not to think about it. Okay. Yep, and that is the Grim Troop. All right. Ha! Huh. I went back there, spent a little bit of money, just barely didn't get enough to get that freaking <laughs> mash shard again. Yeah, 43 more. Yep. Okay, cool. You mm -hmm. still have much to do, but I think yeah. the main main course of action for you is now to a little bit more easily charted masks on your map. Yeah, and seek out that first ending. Unless, of course, you want to continue to explore a little bit more. That's up to you. No, this there is great. There are like three different areas that you have yet to touch. I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, I haven't and... got the map for the ma uh, for the water area. And, uh, and I haven't climbed the tower because I didn't have double jump. Mm -hmm. And then, here, let's just look at our map. What am I doing? Uh, let's see. Crystal Peak. I haven't done the top of Crystal Peak because I didn't have double jump. I have not climbed this tower because I didn't have double jump. Uh. Well, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, so City of Tears, I could get that mask. I don't know how to get this mask, but I could go back to Deep Nest and try and get that mask as well. Yeah, I could the, go along the, the bottle. The, the Deep Nest one is the easiest of the three to obtain, and the other two require boss fights. Right. Um, in order to obtain the one in Fungal Waste, you do need to get the upgrade where you can traverse through the water. Mm hmm. I mean, or you can do a speedrunning strat, but I'm pretty sure you just want to do things legitimately. As best I can, degree. yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, to seek that out somewhere in Royal Waterways. Okay. Find those three. Uh, beat up the Hollow Knight real quick, or the last boss. Mm -hmm. uh, and that should net you the first ending. All and right. after that, it's just going to take you a lot more exploration and stuff in order to start going for the others. And I will say, um, if you're planning on going for a full completion of this game, including the Pantheons, mm -hmm. uh, you are in for a very, very, very long journey. All right. All right. Well, sounds like a plan then. Um, <laughs> yeah. I guess for today, I can feel how tired I'm getting. So I'm going to probably shut down and uh, and call it. And so, yeah, actually, for you guys out there, I am going to call it. So uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you had a lovely time. We uh, we have our heading. We, we know a, <laughs> a, a, a several things that we need to do now. And so this is good. And, uh, and, uh, man, we got some fun stuff going on. I got, oh yeah, that's my marker to the bank. That's what it's for, therefore. I was going to say, what on earth is this for? But yeah, I have a dream gate to the bank. Mm -hmm. Um, anywho, for you guys out there, I hope you enjoyed yourself. You know, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, because I love to hear from you. And, uh, we'll go around, we'll explore all this stuff, we'll cross these lakes, we'll, we'll, Cross these waters. We're gonna we're gonna do all the things, and uh, we're gonna love it. We're gonna love it passionately. As <laughs> for uh, as for finishing everything, as for what we're gonna do today, I'm just gonna have to say goodbye to you, because for now I am beat to pieces and I want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Yep. Anywho, for you guys out there, I shall see you all in the not too distant future. I know you're gonna miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye.